I am with Centerstone. Uh, we have been in the community as of next year, 55 years. And uh, what you were saying this morning really resonated with me about having heart and love what you do. I uh, worked with Centerstone for 11 years and uh, due to my husband's job, had to move across the state. I literally mourned my loss of this job. I had wonderful opportunities elsewhere and uh, essentially family and my husband knowing that I wanted to go back to where I knew, where I trusted this community. Uh, I'm looking out and seeing a lot of really incredible providers that I have had great relationships with and it was so important to get back here. I happened to luck out that the week I applied back to Centerstone, because uh, again they are the love of my life, uh, my old job opened up, so it was kind of kismet. So I am their treatment <laughs> consultant, and it's kind of one of those jobs where I handle um, a lot of their admissions for their managed care, uh, but I also am blessed that they know I like to get out in the community, so they've given me a little bit of uh, you know, freedom to go out and meet providers, travel a little bit, so I am like, lucky to get to know a lot of you and uh, get to talk about Centerstone again for the love of my life. So we are a um, several facilities we have. Uh, outpatient in Bradenton in Sarasota. We have FACT and CAT teams uh, in Bradenton, Sarasota, and now into Lee County. And I come from our uh, hospital addiction center. We are a Baker and Marshman Act receiving facility. And we do have the full continuum of care from uh, substance abuse residential, PHP, down through IOP. We have uh, children's stabilization. I wish we could say residential, so I know there are some community partners we reach out to for, uh, for that as well. Um, and then for uh, something that is kind of good to know with us, we are a Medicare and TRICARE provider. So I know I work with a lot of you with that. We have our specialized tracks and hard to find Medicare and TRICARE. Uh, we recently um, have moved one of our longtime psychiatrists to uh, be our new uh, medical director, Dr. Linares. And uh, being blessed that I worked in outpatient and in, I can say Dr. Linares came to us from Miami several years ago. And I literally would have people driving all the way from Miami to our Sarasota location to see him. We would say, oh, I can get you in with, you know, someone a little closer down in, you know, down in the county. No, 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 no. He's worth the drive. He listens to me. And when I, when I heard that he is um, our current medical director, Dr. Zagul, and if anybody's met him, his heart is incredible. Uh, I thought, who's going to fill these shoes? And to hear... That was our selection, and knowing what I know in outpatient, I was I was just looking forward to all the changes that we're uh, going to be doing. We're looking at bulking up our um, MAT programs and our Vivitrol uh, this year. We are looking at expanding our veterans program. So we have a lot of really great new changes uh, coming, you know, coming in the near future. So thank you, Lisa, for having us today, and thank you, everybody. Thank you.